In the meantime, Andrew Cuomo speaking out on his alleged COVID cover-up, placing blame on the staff at care facilities during the height of the pandemic. Here's One America's Dana Alexa. Cuomo lied, the elderly died. That's the sentiment circulating online after reports surfaced that New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's administration covered up data of nursing home deaths to the public, a move that has since sparked calls for his resignation. But now the Democrat in charge has reeled in a new line of scrutiny, this time for blaming the staff of New York nursing homes for that record high death toll. During Monday's press briefing, Cuomo says it was the health care workers who brought coronavirus into those facilities that evidently infected and killed tens of thousands of elderly victims. COVID did not get into the nursing homes by people coming from hospitals. COVID got into the nursing homes by staff walking into the nursing home. But Cuomo failed to mention it was his own policies that permitted recovering COVID patients to return back to their care facilities, regardless of the asymptomatic risk. He instead deflected and told New Yorkers to solely rely on, quote, facts. And I want to make sure people have all the facts, the facts, the information. This past year, there is a toxic political environment and everything gets politicized and there's political spin and then there are facts. Two very different things. And I just want to make sure people have facts. Cuomo continued to defend his policies while also taking aim at the Trump administration saying the shortage of vaccines was the fault of the federal government during that time. Nonetheless, a relentless Cuomo continues to pass the buck. We did not do a good enough job in providing information. I take total responsibility for that. The pain in it is it created confusion and cynicism and pain for the families of the loved ones. Meantime, families of nursing home victims demand a federal probe into Cuomo's administration. Dana Alexa, One, America News.